What happened to the input thing? I should really look that up to see if that's an actual thing or if I'm just making it up. Bucky, my man. Yeah, see, what the hell? The good old bucket. Just stand me in the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Mm hmm. 420. All right. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door of his man. You're right. Psych! This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. It is the place to be, my man. So we're just going to speed run this real quick. We already know what this happens. Never mind. What this happens? The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left. To go nope. Back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. <laughs> Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. <laughs> yes, go there. Go to the cargo lift. <laughs> Why does he fucking sound like that? See, like... I kind of also want to see the the death because I know. Oh, what? Oh, <gasps> mother of God. You thought you could hide that from me, huh? Oh, you sneaky bastard. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Yeah, OK. You'll collect the last one and then the first number will equal the second number. Yes. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now we have them all. And then my if life will be fulfilled. No Figler and Marines. None of us can. Now, uh, oh, hello. I've never quite seen such a sexy looking air duct. Oh. the hell oh bloody hell where are we oh god it's the warehouse oh no somebody spilled the tapes all their mixed tapes uh oh what have I done Oh, amen, brother. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The sheer euphoria I feel <laughs> every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And it empties <laughs> my chest. Set it down. It doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so. What do I do with this treasure? I can... I can monetize it. No, don't do that. Yes. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour. No, bucket. do not microtransaction the bucket. This is my golden ticket. Oh, God. But I have to be careful. Is this Lloyd this from receiving? This guy's this fucking crazy. Time. trying to get me. Oh god. What's that? Who's there? <gasps> Come on. What the fuck? That 
That was a little concerning. Uh, I do vaguely recall this as well. Sometimes the starting point of the office changes. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a But memo. luckily we still get the bucket. Where are we going today, the bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfectly fine with him. Hmm. Bit odd. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Nope. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the Let's go back down that maintenance elevator again. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no. Never mind. <laughs> bucket was wrong. Will this lead us Stanley to the same like weird intervention? I also want to know if leaving the bucket behind will uh, will cause different endings. Like, will we go through this whole bucket destroyer thing if we don't pick it up? Like, maybe the act of picking up the button is what changes everything. And we're just going to ignore everything they said. Oh, we can't get through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from mm -hmm. a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes. Just plant Not on a couch? That they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? Come on! The adventure line goes somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Whee! Look at that weapon. <laughs> Whee! Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. <laughs> now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted. To I'm drugs. not addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes, it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly no. like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Don't all right, forget. sorry, Bucket, but I need to do this for the sake of content. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? All right. Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the Bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. I'm sorry, Bucket. Wait, what? Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I'm I don't trying. Know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy the bucket. Oh God! Bucket. <laughs> Hold on, wait. I got an update that on my computer. Singular personality. It won't let me throw it in. I can hear you saying, "How does a character with only one Mother of God, <laughs> the, the bucket has become self-aware. Stanley Parable characters. Well, you see, if you were to really explore it, the bucket, it, okay. destroyer, you would see that it's you gotta help me out here, man. It won't let me throw the bucket. Loaded with complexity and nuance, that it's really like ten Get in the bucket destroyer! Other object in this game. Can you even say that about the son of a bitch? Not. I wonder what sort of bucket destroyer merchandise Come on. Be clamoring for after this. Okay, the bucket destroyer is <laughs> I'm trying my best. I'm sorry. It, we can't get it won't let me do it. Come on. Oh, God. Get in there. I'm trying. Oh, and then we all die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big sad. The bucket destroyer's dead. Oh. going to do such marvelous things with you tell such spell yeah 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 oh whoops all of it squandered now goodbye new friend 
for the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. Okay, I've got two other because I eventually I guess I want to do the paths without picking up the bucket as well. But for now, I'm, I've got two more paths. Well, I guess technically three more paths that I could go involving me carrying the bucket. Stanley decided so. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Ah. Ah. Wasn't looking. Nope. Still wasn't. Wait, what? Wait, what? That's not usually how the path goes, right? Man, where'd the input thing go? I'm so annoyed by that. A good bucket, a strong bucket, a humble bucket, a, a thick bucket. bucket, a bucket of culture and distinction. Stanley clutched mm -hmm. the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. So Stanley had the first the thing I want to do is a very quick ending. Was simply the place to be. And, and then we should be able to restart fairly quickly. Unless it goes into this whole weird tangent, it should be pretty quick. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the No, go here. No, <laughs> said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The car Yeet. knows it, yes. But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself <laughs> from the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. That is a poetic ending for sure. Oh, that was it? Okay. Awesome. Just immediate death. Whose phone is ringing? <gasps> Pick it up. It won't let me. Oh. Well, thank you. It's a good thing that they did that. Totally not um, an unnecessary. Yeah, you see, we do go right normally. The game tried to trick me last time. Ah, Come with me, bucket. The embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Stanley clutched the bucket. Yeah, you know, we just uh this was not we just offed ourselves in that last one. Stanley bucket, me and you together forever. To we transcend all universes. Simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No. Oh, no. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took Where should I go? No. No. <laughs> Said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Good, said the bucket. <laughs> now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. Oh, we also got to find that last not to think figlerine. Fig figly, figly. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. All right. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir, Monsieur Bucket. Uh, that looks terrifying. Ah! Now pick up the phone, God. said the bucket. Pick up the phone. <laughs> oh, hold on. Why did you... Um I didn't think that would work. Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's hey, don't Stanley. fucking yell at me. Bucket. Jesus. Can't you see? Oh, oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me serious. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken? I mean, you were very convincing. Comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it. 
but there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to full. Oh wait, yes, there is. Um, it's sitting right here. Let's no, we don't have to watch it. I'm just naturally hilarious. Oh. What is comedic timing? What is comedic timing? How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? Mm -hmm. And more importantly, can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? <laughs> I should hope Thank so. I don't have much time. To all of these questions is yes. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them mm -hmm. in a room yep. of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit yeah. with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions yeah. for good. That seems about time. right. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh and then Spell out your name a second time. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half, pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. Okay. When the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. <laughs> Let's practice screening. I'm Dunny with the funny now. I'm Dunny with the funny. Good. This saying is a perfect example of expectations is that right? management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Am I funny Finally, now? It's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience uh, on how yes. they were throughout the joke. Is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. Everybody loves a good An survey. survey should be no less than 10 pages long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually mm -hmm. paying attention. See. And not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter. And even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point. You gut busting little <laughs> scamp. After all, with each of us needed on the front lines of the war Excuse to fight me? the twelve legged invader who Excuse me? existence and to very luckily die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. All of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause, just as our children must do after us. And their what the fuck? After them. What is happening? Speed and may <laughs> earth reign supreme. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh no, we're being attacked by Mantis people. Outdated, isn't it? outdated. I think the fundamentals of We've made it past the Mantis war. Relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. All right, let's let's run it back. Wait, you're going to make me go all the way back? Oh my good lord. What if I just jump off again? I can feel it. Oh, this it won't let me. I'm really going to nail the delivery. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say. How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. Hilarious. Comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we have the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now? Ah, uh, shoot, well, I don't even know. Comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. Wait. Did the... No, the cargo lift didn't have the gate around it before. Okay. Yeah, because I remember because I got off the side of it. Okay, that's... That's a little weird. Trying to trick me. Near, 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 near. Alright, walking all the way back. I right, keep hitting the keys. All right, you ready? Let's go. You got this. 
came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Uh oh. What? No, 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 no. You fucked this up. There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. Yeah, I know. I just did it. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. I must You're damn right it is. The phone room comes immediately after the two-door room. What an egregious mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of king of comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest <laughs> joke-telling well. I think let's let's not fall into depression. I think I need to go back and rewatch that instructional video again. No, please don't make me watch sure, that too. That will help me improve my. No. Here we go. Oh. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. I'm debating if I should just go to the left one and screw him up. But let's see what he's got. No, you were you're doing it again. Well, uh, we're back at the phone. You deleted all the other rooms, you moron. Oh. Here we go. You ready? Mother of God. When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. On the left. We go right, we turn the corner, and then bottom. Uh, and you've messed it up again. We're back at the phone already. No, no, no. <laughs> Here we go. I guess we have to go to the left one. When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. All right, let's go left. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. Did you not even look at the instructional video? I think this was all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's hey, done. don't the get fucking snippy with me. And over. It's all your fault. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on now. In the community of other jokes like I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud? You need to watch who you're talking to like that. Hey. Oh, no. You love the bucket so much, it's like you own it. It's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Yes. Well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. Oh, no. No. Do not think it is a This, this is, this is pale bad. Pale with shame. Pale with shame. Pale. That's that's good. Away from making fun of Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of it. I just, I know it's going to be shit. I need more instructional videos. Oh no, no! That's We're trapped in this hell. More instructional videos. Let's see. Let's see. Stanley, look up. Oh, okay. We're back. Thank goodness that was getting a, a little worrisome. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply mm -hmm. missed a memo. Anything here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Grab the bucket. The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker. In time, perhaps, he would become both of the... Stanley clutched the bucket mm, tightly nope. to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. Yeah. The bucket was wrong. Now so let's left. take the super incorrect path. And see how it's different with no. the bucket. So no. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo <laughs> yes, go. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. <laughs> Stanley did not question no. why or how this bucket was speaking. All right, ready? It should have alarmed him yeah. because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. 
That's right. We don't listen to anybody. Else. Whoa! Oh, there on the wall, you see, there's a sign right there. It says "No buckets past oh. this point." Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? I. Uh, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what? I know what's a bucket. Suppose don't don't, don't insult me like that. No. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness. I think we have to do something about it. Sir. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is... Look, I know what a bucket is, all right? I've, I've hung out with this bucket. Oh, good lord. What? What is the problem? Oh, God. Is this a bucket? I'm going to run you through some test scenarios, and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Okay, can do. Enough, Easy. This should tell us everything we'll ever that need blood? to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Easy. Bucket. You, is this a bucket? Yes. Incorrect. Excuse me, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Okay, that clearly that's a bucket. a bucket. Incorrect. It is a 3D printed recreation. That's a bucket. If it looks like a bucket and smells like a bucket, clearly, I mean, come on now. It can still hold water. Item 3. Is this a bucket? All right, now surely this has to be a bucket. Let's see. There we go. What else? What else we got? Oh, that, I mean, yeah, that's a bucket. Is you could fill that with water. <laughs> I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. I mean, it's got very buckety sort of features. I mean, haven't you ever heard of bucket seats? Oh, see, okay. That one was a tractor. This, this, okay, that's a bucket. See? Told you. No, we're not going to talk about that? Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. Yet again, another bucket. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. What? Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Come on, hurry this up. We all got things to do. Yes. Okay. What? You and I both know there isn't anything. I there. see a bucket. And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something, and therefore <laughs> nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me Wait, Stanley. no, hang on. That was very existential, and I couldn't really follow it. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. You're confused. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. <laughs> but yet now, I'm somewhat adrift. Hey, man, who really knows? Know you know what I mean? Yep. Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. Oh, come I'm on, you and me. I'm sorry, but I'm going to erase all buckets. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Okay. Here we go. No, do not, do not do that. Good Lord. He's gone mad with power. Is everything gone? Everything is a bucket? Everything disappeared. Wait, was everything a it always has been, right? A bucket. Oh my god, I have no idea. How could except me? Oh shit. And you stand, it's been confirmed. You're, still here. you're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yeah, but we're living in a bucketless world. I'm much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what. I'll reset everything, and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. 
Yeah. If you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. Oh, it clearly fucked me up. Okay. Now, let... Uh, Okay, that's Stan scary. To go to the I don't like that. Perhaps he had simply missed a Let's turn all these off because they're freaking me out. What did we do without the bucket this time? Let's go. What path should I take? Should I do the regular ending, but the mind control ending? Go without the bucket. When Stanley came to a set of yeah, 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 we're going. He entered the door on his left. Ow. Oh, it does cross off somewhere both. Oh, I know where this is actually. Somewhere both red and blue. Shit. Okay. After we do this ending, we'll we'll go get that last fig leaf. Coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. This better not lead to the the silly bird ending. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unwrapped. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute <laughs> to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. <laughs> so he relaxed for a few moments with oh, some calm God. new age music. <laughs> Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passage. I'm glad he did that. That really soothed my nerves. You know, sometimes anxiety gets the best of us all. And we just need some calming new age music to really put things in perspective. Let's go. We are going to mind control the shit out of everyone. The red mind control facility. Boom. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stand let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each ball employee the number, number one. The building, Stanley's co -worker. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Nothing. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Shit, I don't know, man, maybe. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? You never know. I mean, who are we really? Are we f truly free? The heart of the or are we simply slaves to the system? Emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. From this and very as the place. And reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machine... Turn this shit on. Never... Oh, Stanley. Didn't just activate the controls, did you? Oh yeah. You <laughs> as you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself, is that what you wanted? Control? Yes, sir. Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. What do you mean? You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you 
want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated Mother of God. the Earth's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Two minutes until this shit goes up. Fun, oh god, oh god. It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what ah. in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you. About ah, me. red. Where are we going? What Green. I Yellow. Where to blue. Fuck. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of One. before you're obliterated. One. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die. Oh God, oh God. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. You erased I them? I set you free. Of course, that was merely in Wait, this one? instance of Is the story. That? Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. That's horrifying. Other oh. times, I let the office sink into Son the ground, bitch. swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Oh, you God. Try to make Is there a way to get out of this? Take back the control wrested away from you. It's Incorrect. Four. Incorrect. Go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. Oh God, oh God. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. What? You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh, fuck. Oh, dear me. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it ah, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I'm just buttons, clicking buttons, buttons, buttons expecting screen, something to happen. Screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red... Ah! Everything, anything, something here will save me. I don't know how to enable backup power. That this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a story. Ah! That time a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To Good see Lord. you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it. Nah. <laughs> I wonder if there is purpose to this. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. Oh, no come on. Idea. Just you being blown to pieces. No. <laughs> your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same. No. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever. Shit. <laughs> I was really focused in there because I was like, is there, I wonder if there's a way to do that or if it's just you're supposed to die there. Damn.